product not yet rated. Hi, this is Chris Gaglioni, associate producer here at Activision. Today I'm going to take you through a brief demonstration of Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam for the Wii. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam is the first downhill skateboard racing game being developed exclusively for the Wii and Nintendo DS. The game takes advantage of the intuitive Wii remote by letting you feel like you're doing the skating and you're bombing the hills. The object of the game is simple, cross the finish line first. When you begin the game, you can choose from 10 characters including Tony Hawk. You can also create your own skater with unique attributes such as outfits, logos on your shirts, logos on your deck, shoes, and more. As you progress through the game you'll unlock advanced decks. Each of these have different attributes such as speed, improved jumping, balance, some are better for races, some are better for tricks, some handle a little better than others, and others even let you hit people harder, which is always nice. So here we are at Twin Peaks in San Francisco. There are eight real world locations such as San Francisco. We've also got Machu Picchu, Hong Kong, Edinburgh, and Chicago. Each location is host to a number of different challenges, such as slalom, trick attacks, big air time. This one is a sprint, so here we go. We drop into each location so we get some speed going for our race. Four opponents are here with me. A lot of the tricks are very similar to previous Tony games. Kick flips, back flips, grabs, grinds. As you can see, I'm steering and balancing with the Wii Remote. The movement of the skater is directly tied to the motions with the Wii Remote. If you turn just a little bit, you'll see your character turns just a little bit. If you turn all the way to the right, you'll turn sharp and slam right into the wall. Now, when you fall, did you see how I shook the Wii Remote violently? That'll get you up a lot faster. Each challenge allows the player to hone their skills with the Wii Remote. The game isn't only racing. We've also got a little combat that you can do to get yourself ahead. The great thing about downhill skating is the power slides. Power slides get you around the corners faster. I took the inside on that guy right there, so I passed him. As I do tricks and power slides, I build up boost on the right side of the screen. When the fire comes up, I shake the Wii remote and I go a little bit faster. The popular sticker slab also helps with shortcuts. Here's another shortcut. This tunnel will save probably about two seconds on the race, which in any racing game is extremely helpful. So I wanted to show you a later level in the game. This is Machu Picchu. This is a slalom course. Now at the top of the screen, I have a timer that's counting down. Each time I go through one of these gates, it gives me more time on the timer. Now it's not just about hitting the gates. I need to do tricks to build up my boost to get to the gates quick enough. As you can see, this one really forces you to use the skills you've developed as you progress through the game. Machu Picchu is home to a lot of narrow grinds and ledges, so the use of the Wii Remote to steer and balance your skater is pretty important. So the game really takes you all over the place, there's almost no place you can't go. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam features multiplayer gameplay for up to four players. The game is being developed by Toys for Bob for the Wii and by Vicarious Visions for the Nintendo DS. Downhill Jam will be available in Q4, and we look forward to showing you more of the game in the coming weeks.